We just got this new truck, and uh, it's got this fancy pants navigation system. And instead of asking anything about it, which I did not do, I'm just like sitting here wondering how to use it as I'm driving. And Megan said, can you speak it? And I'm like, hello truck, will you map me? Can you make a phone call? Places. Can you play music? Uh, directions? <laughs> Navigation. Navigation. Please say a command. Awesome. Sorry. Please say a command. Gotcha. Or say help. Destination. Blazing Star Resort. Destination. Clothing store. Is that correct? No. <laughs> Destination. Blazing Star. Destination. Please say a command. La 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 la. Hello friends, today we are, um, shall we say downsizing again? Um, so there's a couple things going on. First, we're going to get Megan's mom from the airport and whenever we do that, Megan needs to be able to ride in the back of the truck or I need to ride in the back of the truck, whatever. Um, and so we're, we were clearing out of space. While we were doing that, we realized we got a lot of stuff back there, so let's see if we can downsize. Second thing is that um, as much as we love Boulder, it's gonna start running into some serious mechanical problems somewhat soon, or at least I'm afraid it is. I've already had to put some money into it fixing stuff. I mean, you know, the previous um, thing that happened with the, when we were on the side of the road with the serpentine belt, I don't want that to happen again. I don't want stuff like that to happen again. It's 255,000 miles on it. So if we do get another truck though, it's probably not gonna have this gigantic camper shell on it. So I'm gonna need to consider what would fit in a normal truck about that high. So that means there's a lot of stuff back there that's just not gonna make the cut. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work over here. All right, those items have been donated and it feels good. It feels good not just because we got rid of them, but because now we got more space. All right, we are heading into San Antonio to pick up my mom in the airport. She's flying in right now. She may have already landed. Sorry for the shaky cam, I'm giggling too much. All right, so we did laundry this morning. We are leaving so Texas 281 RV park today. People here are super, super nice. Um, we did not have the most private site, but that's all right. We handled okay. it just fine. I'll show you our site. Yeah. And that's the road. But nonetheless, still had a wonderful experience here. Okay. Okay, so we are here in San Marcos, Texas, and we need a new truck. So we are starting the search while my mom is here to watch the kids. So she's got the kids right now. So we're at a Ford dealership, because that's what we want. We want a Ford, and that's it. That's basically our search, it's a Ford F-250 crew cab. We bought what we, what we could afford last, and now we're going for what we can afford, but what we want. <laughs> so we'll what see. What we need. What we need. All right, so this is the one he's interested in trying out. It's very high. Yeah. Lifted. I think this, I don't think this is going to be the one because it's going to be cool. Let's pull again. Let's see. Let's <laughs> so it's very it's tall. Cool.
How long do you look under there? Prove that you know something. Everybody has those things. Like everybody has these Maybe things they just in Texas. Come standard. Where they're, I think they call them ranch hands, but they're like, they're like a, it's like a grill across the front of your truck. So yeah, so we liked the trucks we drove. The third truck we drove, we went to another dealership that had a used Ford F250, 2012, and it we like Joseph liked the way it drove, but. Well, it smelled like cigarettes. Let's go back. Let's go back and, and cover. I don't think I don't think it fully covered. So we drove a we saw that we went there for 2012. It was lifted, so we drove. Instead, he showed me what else he had, and it was higher in price but lower in miles. It was a 2015 Lariat uh, 250, which looked good. There's another one. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Um, so it looked it was really cool, but it had just they just taken it. In. So it was still dirty and stuff, um, which I appreciate him not saying, oh yeah, well now you can't drive it right now. But anyway, um, then he's, he said, okay, do you want to look at anything else? And I was thinking, I think I found the one I want. I want that truck. I, when I get out of that truck, I want that truck. Okay, but that's the difference between he and I in general. I am the one who's like, like, no, we need to research we more. We need to drive all of them first. So, no, I'm not like that, but I am like... We need to take our time, and if this deal goes away, well, then we missed it. Bummer. You're just much more pragmatic than I am. Then we Look drove at that, the guys. He complimented me. Then hey, we drove he always the, does. the 2017, which was only like, what was it? Like a, 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 a thousand or two thousand more? And it yeah. was this three years newer, only one year I didn't old. even know that it so, was like a full thousand more. It was like, like $600 more. So anyway, and I was like, okay, let's check it out. And, but it was different. So we went from super high trim model, the Lariat, to an XLT, which is like the, the, the step above the super base trim model. It's got so much space in the back, it's ridiculous. Like the room- the kids would have so much more room. I feel like it was roomier all over. But it is also like, kind of like a work truck. So it's, it's like, it had uh, cloth seats and stuff like that. And that's kind of a problem with the kids. We are gonna take some time now and try to figure it out. Yeah. We're gonna go, and we're gonna look around at an Austin and some other areas too, and see what's available. Yeah. So, so for that's now, what we're doing tonight. We're, we're gonna done. be like crunching the numbers and. I'm gonna look stuff. while you get the pizzas. All right. Good. We are shamelessly eating our pizza on the drive. Romantic date night. I know I'm looking super cute, but that's okay. We have something to do today. Yeah, we do. What are we doing, Hannah? Cleaning out the truck. Why are we cleaning out the truck, Hannah? We're because we're gonna sell it. We're literally getting everything out of the truck. Is that a lot of stuff? That is more stuff than I can count. Daddy, what's that in today? We're getting everything out of the back of the truck. Um, Cause we're getting a new truck today. Today's new truck day. Uh, it is, it is, uh, December 31st and we are getting a new truck. So new year, new you. New year, new us. So anyway, we... but we are, the problem is we have so much junk in the truck and the new truck doesn't have one of these shells on it. But I don't think that I'm going to fix that. I don't think I'm going to get a new shell for the new truck because, um, oh, 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 because it's white. Because it just makes us continue to acquire stuff. Um, you know, it's like if I, so the thing is I have like this stuff that right here in the back, I carry this stuff around, never hardly use it. There's some stuff in here I definitely have not used and will not use, but here you go, thank you. Um, this right here, it's a trolling motor. May have been an impulse purchase, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is what we're doing. We're getting everything out. <laughs> Bye, Boulder. Guess be thinking of a new name for our next truck. Go! That might work. Okay, so we are uh, cleaned Boulder out, and the kids said goodbye. We all said goodbye to Boulder. Hopefully, we take home a new truck today. 
we don't know for sure. There's just so many moving parts um, about buying a truck, period. And especially buying a truck when you're out of state and you don't plan to go back to your home state for a while. If we have to drive back to Virginia, then we do that. Sitting here in the car dealership, Caesar is um, taking the truck back to get it appraised. And we are uh, just kind of chilling out right now. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts here. We have to go to the bank and get a cashier's check for whatever amount we settle on here. And then we have to also go um, or contact Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles as soon as they open, but the day's the 31st. And then the first, they're closed today and tomorrow. And then we need to get the title and then get that to them. It's a whole thing, but it's happening, guys. It's happening. All right, guys. We got the truck. We did it. We got a new truck. Woo! Exciting. It's pretty awesome. It is a Ford F-250 um, Crew Cab Super Duty. It's a 2012, and it's a Lariat, which is pretty awesome because what's pretty awesome about being a Lariat is that um, it has heated seats, air conditioned seats, navigation, backup camera, basically you name it, um, the truck's got it. And um, given that it's a little older, um, we wanted to, we wanted a, a, a decent trim package um, because leather interior uh, seems to survive better than cloth interior. This, this was exactly how it was when we picked up this we went to see this truck as it was whenever we went to see Birdie, our travel trailer. I was like, this this is too good to be true. It worked out in our price range. It worked out. We had a great dealership that we dealt with if you're in San Antonio area. Russell Feltz Motor Co. It's really nice Go guys. there. They were, there was no pressure. It was just like, here it is, you know. Um, they worked with me a little bit on price. They, they were good guys. They were I was great. really, I was really pleased with my experience with them. What do you guys think? This is awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you look pretty good, Trini. Diesel, so it's still loud, you know, enough, but not as, not as a good one. Isn't it great? Why? Do not step on seats. Do I need my seat? Yes. We're gonna put a towel underneath your seats, though. Make sure they're clean, okay? How do you all feel about um, driving the new truck? I think it's awesome. I think it's, it's a awesome. diesel. And it's quiet. It's quiet and it's a diesel. And it's not very bumpy. Do you feel like there's more room back here or less room? More room. I know, I feel like I'm not so smushed on you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is why you pay to park in the city. You gotta pay your bill, all right? These guys will tow this guy's truck off. He's gonna come back and you can't, oh man, he's gonna be so ticked. He's gonna be like, where's my truck? It's gone. The truck has been towed, buddy. Sorry. <laughs>